Well, Creality just made a move in the right direction. The Fluid interface is no longer separate. You can now integrate it right into Creality Print. Let me show you. So if you just want to add your device to Creality Print, right, you'll go right here to the Devices tab, and then you'll go right over here to the right side where it says Scan Add or Manual Add. You can do either or. Sometimes with Scan Add, it doesn't pop up and you need to do a manual add. So with Manual Add, if you don't want the Fluid interface, and you just want regular Creality Print, then you'll just type in your IP address right here, and then you'll hit OK. And then it will automatically pop up like this. It'll probably pre-populate the name for you. You can change that by tapping the little pencil icon right here. And one thing to keep in mind when you're printing, right, uh, is current device, right? And I forget about this all the time. So you go over here to prepare and look at the top left right here. It says current device is K1 Max. Well, as you can see, I've got the settings set as if I'm printing from Creality High. What you need to do to remedy that is just come down here and click current device and then go back to prepare. And now you can see they both match and you're good to go to print on the Creality High. So another thing that I like to do, if you have multiple printers, uh, I like to set groups. So as you can see, I have a few K1 Maxes here. I got a couple of K2 Pluses here. And then I got the Creality High down here by itself. And these are my studio printers. I like to just you know, keep everything itemized and organized. In order for the scan ad feature to work, you're gonna have to have your printers on the same network as your computer. And that's pretty much it. And as you can see, all of my printers here, they're all on the same network, so they all popped up in scan ad. And then what you'll do to add them, you'll just go down here and click add, and then you'll be good to go. So now let me show you how to add a printer if you want it to have the fluid interface. Okay, so once you're in the Creality Print, as you can see, I'm on the latest version, which is 6.0.5, I believe. And what you're gonna wanna do to add your machine with the Fluid Interface is go over here to Device, and then you'll go to Manual Add, and you'll click Other right here. And as you can see, you'll type in HTTP, col uh, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, and then your IP address, and then another semicolon, and then 4408 for the port with a forward slash at the end. Okay, and then once you do that, you'll just hit OK. And then as you can see right here, it says other, but you'll just right click that and oh no, you click right here and then you can name the device. And so we're going to name this K1 Max dash fluid because you can't put any spaces. So there we go. We got that. And now you can click on details and look at that. There you go. You got fluid interface right here inside your Creality print. You no longer have to have it, you know, pinned to your taskbar like I do. I've always had Fluid pinned to my taskbar. And in here, you can do exactly what you did in Fluid. It's no different than going to the web browser and punching this in. Creality just saved you the step. Now, with adding the Fluid interface, what's really cool is that, like, the Creality High and the K2 Pluses, I've never done any type of root stuff to them. And you can still add them with the Fluid interface. And so I've done that right here. As you can see for i did it for this one right here on the right as you can see i'll click on it but the only thing i haven't figured out is the camera is not showing up with these devices that aren't actually rooted now my k1 maxes those are rooted so the camera's popping up just fine on those on this one you can still have access to everything all the information is still here let's see if you go to configuration you still have access to your print config files and all of that good stuff but I'm just having a hard time figuring out the camera part of it. And so here with Fluid, I mean, you, you have just so much more control over your machine. And I did not root my machine whatsoever. I have not gained root access. I haven't done any of that stuff. I just simply added the machine with the Fluid port and it works. And you basically have control over everything just like as if you had root access. So if you'd like to see more short, informative, long form videos just like this, hit that like and make sure you're subscribed.